Okay, did you, did everyone see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen, Sean, and I can see a yes. very interesting picture down there. It's the tree That's plot. Right. Oh my God. That is, a, that is a, probably seems like the mathematic, mathematical model uh, in the imaginary number. Oh, okay. That is a 3D graph, you see. Oh, the 3D graph of what? Of what function? Uh, the function of x to, uh, x to the power of two plus one. Uh -huh. when, the, uh, when the root is zero, so it is, x is a positive or negative i, so. That's right, that's right. So oh, we, that's... yeah, that is a probably same like a oh. similar uh, simple math model. Okay. Oh, nice. Thanks, so, Sean. Okay. Can I start? Yeah, nice. We are going to Sean. I'm sure he's going to do a great job on presenting, I should say, the Hodgkin Huxley model of the neurons. Sean, you're all here to hear to you then. Thanks, man. Please go on. No problem. Okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sean. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the, the math modeling, which is called the Hodgkin Huxley model. In 1963, uh, Alan, Alan Hodgkin and Andrew Huxley won the Nobel Prize in Physiology and Medicine. Oh, and Medicine. So uh, they, uh, they create the, uh, a new channel that introduced the voltage dependence uh, and, uh, they, uh, and they discover the concerning the uh, ionic mechanisms involves the excitation and the in inhibition uh, in the uh, per, uh, a uh, peripheral and the central uh, portions or something. Okay, so so my presentation is divided by three parts. The first one, I will introduce something about the mathematical modeling, which which uh, which uh, which Omit uh, has already uh, teach us some parts. And the second part is the the main point. It is the uh, Hodgkin Huxley uh, in math modeling. And the other one is the contributions of the of this model. Okay, so since we studied the math for several for several years, we learned about how to solve some math questions. We we learned about how to some how to find the rules of the, of the equation. We learned about how to uh, draw the graph of the function. But in the in the real life, there are numerous there are infinite real world problems waiting for us to solve. So how to connect the uh, mathematics to, to solve the real problem? So such as the, some, some, uh, some uh, fields such as mm, the financial industry or transportation and energy, energy parts and uh, environmental problems and even the agricultural uh, issues. Uh, these are all the real world problems. By using the mathematical model, Firstly, we have to make the assumptions. Uh, and uh, and uh, secondly, we have to use uh, approximations, like the predictions. Mm, and uh, you look at the, uh, and, and, if, uh, and when we solve the mathematical model, then we turn back, turn back to see the real world problem. And, and it, it is super beneficial for us for, to solve the real world problems. Look at the right picture. So uh, it is a picture of the car seat potatoes. So mm, if you, uh, if, if the fa uh, farmers cut the seed potatoes too small, the pitch is too small, then you get a seed that is uh, not viable. So the, the potatoes will, uh, won't grow into uh, the potato plant. But if you cut the, them too large, it will miss the potentially go seed. It, uh, we, uh, if we want to uh, uh, understand what is a Hodgkin Huxley model talks about, we have to know something, some concepts of, about the neuroscience. Firstly, uh, first of all, is a neuron. So, what is a neuron? Neuron is the working unit of the brain. It is it controls it. It depends. It plays a significant role to control the whole brain and the and the neural system. And the second one is neural activity. The neural activity dominates the synaptic strength and the connectivity of all the stages of the neural development and function. The second one is the uh, action potential. The action potential is also called the uh, nerve impulse. 
the action potential comes from the the action potential comes from the the uh, vo uh, voltage dependence conductances, and this this voltage dependence conductances it is unique in the Hodgkin Huxley model, and I will talk about it later. And there are something you see. This is uh, axon, and uh, this is uh, uh, dendrite. These are two mm, two uh, basic things in our uh, in, in neurons. And this is called the uh, synaptic terminals. Okay, and then I will talk about the uh, concept in mathematics. And you, will, you guys will start, sorry, uh, you will light and later. What? Sorry, can you, you. can you go back to the previous slide, please? Thank you. Then it's gonna be, no, 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 the, 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 the one after, please. Next one, please. Next one. This one. Next slide. Yes, please. Next. Oh, okay. here, here, here. No, I'm about to talk about this. Yes, you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Then. Please start. So look at this slide. Uh, you will, you, you, uh, you will, you guys will start study the differential equations maybe in the university. Since we we have uh, since we. Uh, we approaches we approached some concepts about the uh, rate of change and the basic concepts about calculus um, several months ago. Uh, in, so the, in the mathematics, the differential equations uh, can be divided by two parts. One is linear, and uh, another one is nonlinear. The hodgkin huxley model uh, use, uh, uses the nonlinear differential equation. Um, such as uh, you see from this picture, mm, you see uh, this partial uh, partial u divided by x, partial x1 plus partial u divided by partial x2 equals to zero. This one is linear because of, because mm, uh, we assume that the uh, a plus b equals to zero. So a the square uh, a to the power of is one and b to the power is the one. So this plus together is linear. So uh, so you imagine that. A linear function. One uh, every linear function, their power is always one. But what? But the quadratic function is uh, is the power to the power of two, right? So you see from the non-linear differential equation, there is one uh, one part which is the uh, power of two, and another part of uh, power of is one. So if a to the power of power of two plus b equals to zero, they uh. This one is nonlinear, obviously. Okay, so the the linear equation is it is a uh, on is in the uh, the nonlinear differential equation is not a linear equation in the unknown function and the, its derivatives. So this uh, Sean, the Hodgkin Huxley model. Linear? Sean. Huh? Sean. Yeah. Sean, can you hear me? Yeah. What happened? Hello. Oh yeah. What is quasi linear on the previous slide? No, no, no. I did, this this one does not mean so much because we do not need this one here. Okay. 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 So this one means that uh, this one means that there is a parameter of u. Oh, okay. Yeah, from the left side. Okay. Uh, the Hodgkin Huxley model is named by the two great scientists, uh, which uh, who are Alan Hodgkin and uh, Andrew Huxley. Mm, these two these two scientists are the two pioneers on the conductance in modeling. They both make a great uh, they both make a great contribution to the computational neuroscience and uh, physiology. Okay, so let's see, let's look at the Hodgkin-Huxley modeling. The Hodgkin-Huxley modeling describes how the action potentials in the neurons initiate. This is a this is a big neuron, initiates uh, and uh, propagated. So it is set uh, as as I said before, it is set of the non-linear differential equations. So it 
it approximates the electrical characteristic. This electrical characteristic is, is important because, uh, because this, the whole elect, electrical uh, circuit diagram is, uh, is based on the electrical characteristic of the, in the excitable cells. And, uh, uh, and uh, there, are, there are two spaces which, uh, which are, which are uh, ex ex extracellular space and the in uh, intracellular space. The extracellular space means that there are some space outside the cells. The intracellular space means that uh, the subspaces mm, inside the cells. So we, we know that mm, the outside space is in, uh, and the inside spaces uh, separated from the uh, cell membranes. The cell membranes depends on uh, play a role as the to control the uh, substances to go out or, or enter. And the researchers have proved the, from the Hodgkin and Hoxley that there are some the characteristics between the uh, outside the cells and inside the cells. So there are some reflections and there um, some uh, uh, something happen between these two spaces. Okay, that is the first diagram I, I, I draw of, of the hodgkin Huxley model. So you see from this uh, left side, there is a, uh, there is a electrical di uh, cir circuit diagram. And, uh, and, the, uh, and, I mean, uh, and the total amount of the current crossing the neural membranes equals to the capacitive current and the ionic current. So this is a uh, ironic current. This this is the uh, voltage at the at the resistive membranes of uh, potential. This one is a uh, re resistance. Uh, this whole this whole thing is the uh, uh, total voltage. And the IC deals with this part of the circuit. We see from the right side, we, uh, by the researchers uh, in the uh, in the Hodgkin Huxley model, they they got the uh, equation like the uh, C C is the C is the capacitance. Uh, capacitance. Uh, this guy equals to negative I the cur uh, the the current of the ionic equals to sigma this uh, this whole thing G I times the difference of the voltage. So this, uh, uh, we, uh, as I said before, the total amount of the current uh, crossing the neural membranes equals to the capacitive current and it's uh, iron, uh, ironic current. And we assume that the sum of the current, across, uh, the sum of the current across the membranes is zero. And uh, the, one of the resistance, so one of the resistance, this is a this is a resistance, is equal to is, is equal to G. G you see from there G. G means the G is means that the, there is a conductance. Mm, this is one feature of the electrical circuit. And uh, it is a uh, reciprocal of the res resistance. So Y over R equals to G. When the resistance increase decreases, the conductance will decrease. So because the, they are opposite for a proportions between the resistance and the conductance. So uh, they, they proved that they got the three equations from this uh, previous uh, diagram. So the total amount of the uh, current equals to this time, uh, the IC times I ionic. And uh, this is a law of uh, capacitance. Uh, I say equals to C times dV over dt. And uh, the third one is uh, uh, the current equals to the uh, following across the, the resistance uh, times the di uh, voltage difference. Okay, the, sec uh, the second mathematical model is very, uh, is very typ uh, typical. Mm in the hodgkin Huxley model on the squid giant axon. The model is, uh, 
proxy for the all passing channels in, in neuron, some types of the sodium channels. So the, you see uh, the, from the two blue circles, the GNA means, means the active sodium, uh, active sodium current. And the GK equals uh, A means the active potassium current. There is a voltage de uh, dependence uh, conductance of this uh, uh, circuit diagram. And uh, the G, the, and the two yellow circles are the passive membranes. And GM is the re uh, resistor. And uh, we, there's also have the, having the VRES, it is the re uh, resistive membrane's potential. C is the capacitance. And uh, this, uh, the, the above, above this, uh, sir, uh, above this diagram is the, uh, a cellular, a extracellular, and under this is the in, intracellular. So the the model, this model lumps together the zinc, like the sodium and the potassium. These are the elements in the chemistry. The ATP is the energy, is the energy of the cell. So it's, it, it, uh, the pro, uh, yeah, like seems like the energy. So, and the leak iron channels always open. The current flowing the, through the membranes can be carried via the charging and the discharging of a capacitor or wire irons uh, following through the wire boss resistance in parallel with the capacitor. Okay, because of the, because of there is a voltage dependence uh, conductance, uh, it, uh, it needs, uh, it, so it poses the action potential to uh, to to go up, mm, and the and, and the two yellow circles of the passive membranes is only going to approach the exponentially some steady state value. Okay, and then there are two graphs of the Hodgkin Coxley model. The first one is the potassium conductance rate, and the, uh, and the second one is the sodium in, uh, in inactivation conductance rate. So the first graph used to determine the values of the potassium conductance rate, con uh, constants are alpha and beta. And the second one, uh, used to determine the values of the sodium inactivation conductance rates. Constants, uh, constant is, uh, is greater than H, alpha and beta. So you see from these uh, two graphs, the x-axis are the voltage. Uh, from the negative, uh, from the negative uh, 110 to positive 50. And the, and the y-axis is called the rate, const, uh, rate, rate constant. So whether this sodium or, or extra and uh, potassium are decreasing or increasing, you can see from this, pair, uh, is from this graph. The alpha line is uh, steadily uh, decreased, decreasing, and the beta, beta uh, function is, uh, is steadily uh, in increasing. Sorry, beta is decreasing, Sean, huh? Uh, I, I mean from the... Uh, the left, uh, the left pair, uh, left graph. Alpha left is, left. alpha is uh, this one. Uh, alpha is the one which is decreasing. Beta is increasing, huh? That's right. Ah, uh, okay. Thanks. All right, and that is a contribution of this hodgkin huxley model. The the hodgkin huxley model is uh, is uh, is proved in the 19, 1960s, and it is regarded as one of the great. The achievement of the uh, twenty uh, century bio, bio, bio uh, physics. So there are some the improvement. Uh, there are some the uh, applications of this uh, of this uh, model. So the first one is uh, additional iron channel populations. This has been uh, incorporated based on the ex experimental data. And the second one is uh, is the uh, Hodgkin Huxley model to uh, use it to the modify the incorporate tran uh, transition state theory 
and uh, produce the zero dynamic Hodgkin Huxley models. The third one is uh, is the models that in uh, that incorporate uh, incorporate highly complex uh, ge uh, geometries of the den uh, dendrites and axons. The first one is the uh, stochastic stochastic models of the iron channel behavior, and the last one is the uh, PNP. It's a portion of uh, nearest plaque model uh, based on the main field approximation of iron. I iron is uh, a small uh, small substance, substance. Interactions and uh, contain uh, continuum descriptions of the concentration and the electrostatic uh, potential. Okay, thanks for listening. Oh, thank you very much, Sean. Thanks. It was brilliant. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Can you please also go back to the previous slide? Oh, please share back again your slides. Go back to the previous slide, please. Thanks. Uh, the one, you said that, the, no, no, the next one after, the one before the end. The stochastic models of the ion channel behavior. Do you mean that the models that you describe, the differential equations, they are stochastic representations of the ion channels? Or they are deterministic? Oh, uh, they are stochastic. They are stochastic, not deterministic, huh? Yeah, 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 I think so. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, our channel behavior is, uh, I think it's stochastic. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks, man, it was very impressive. Thanks a lot, Thank man. You. Much impressive, okay. impressive work, Sean. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Thanks, if you're doing this stuff, guys, I'm talking to everyone. Are, are, you, are you sleeping, guys? Are you sleeping? Do you understand? No. That's amazing. That's good. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. amazing. Guys, any questions for Sean? If no questions. Awesome. No. And thanks. If you're doing this kind of stuff, you can just model. I'm talking to all of you, to Minjie, Sean, Linda, Aria, and Brian. You can talk about, I should say, Hodgkin Huxley model, a kind of a modeling of the neural activity. You are doing too much and too much from a high school student, you have to be proud of yourself. I'm talking to yeah, Sean, no, so Nick, Linda, oh. Arya, and Ryan. You have to be proud of yourself because that's a very high level material there. Then guys, thank you very much. Uh, there is a couple of minutes left. Please go as usual. Please go to the Schoology website under the course material. Just write anything which you have learned. You can talk about the linear regression, which you are going to do, or talk about the Hodgkin Huxley model. Then just write one thing that you learned today. And then I just put the attendance list on your comment there. And then, uh, and also let me tell you the deadline to submit your work today to me based on the solving of the problem, which is going to be a prediction. Either you use, uh, uh, the R and R studio or the Excel, which I provided the link for you there, it's gonna be by tomorrow before the class. Tomorrow before 9 a.m., please submit it to me. And let me also go to the Schoology website to check something to see if. Okay, now, just uh, then that's it. I have nothing more to add, except the fact, guys, check the updates of the class, because we have, uh, it, it helps you through how to solve the real problem and second part of your assignment, which is done by, I should say, linear regression of the data sets on the second page of the PDF format, PDF file which you have. Then if you have no question, I remind you the deadline for the second part of the assignment is tomorrow, before the class, and if you have any questions along the way that you are doing the linear regression of your model, just email me, I give you back to right away then. Okay, and if you have no questions, thank you guys, and thanks everyone, and thanks. Uh, show me. Yes.